Part of being middle-aged is dealing with work issues. I'd like to tell you a little bit about how, what I'm dealing with, and we're gonna talk about that in three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm Carl, and welcome back to SMA. I'm out here hiking in a trail in northern Michigan. It's a beautiful day. In theory, this is golden hour, but honestly, I, my sunlight is fighting me, so I apologize for any shadows you may be seeing. Some of the comments I've gotten below in the blah blah have been from people who feel like I'm not sharing enough about the things that I'm struggling with. And I, I hear you on that. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about was how I'm dealing with work issues. To give you a little background, um, I've been working the same job for about 20 years, actually be 20 years in October. I've been, spent my entire life in, in manufacturing. Uh, I started in South Bend in a, in a piston plant and I've been in manufacturing ever since. When I came up here to Northern Michigan, I got into the work that I'm doing as a temp job, and I worked my way up through the, from a temp position, so, uh, through shipping and receiving, I worked on the floor, um, eventually I got myself into a customer service type role, manufacturing production, and then ultimately to be a value stream manager. A value stream manager is basically a foreman. I had, you know, 12, 13 people who reported to me, and I had a a rather large area. The problem with all this was that I took a little bit too much pride in this, or maybe it's not the problem, but I did take a lot of pride in being a value stream manager. There was something about that that really mattered to me. The idea that I started at nothing and then I moved up to a, a pretty high position. And I, I, like I said, I took great pride in it and it became a bit about who I am. So let's fast forward. I've been a value stream manager for seven, eight years, something like that, long, long period of time. And every week I would meet with my boss and he would sit down with me and we'd go over my goals and talk about how I'm doing and every week he'd say, hey, great, you've been doing a great job, really appreciate it, keep up the good work sort of thing. This happened all the way up until, let's say, October of 2017. At which point I got called into my boss's office, he was sitting down, he went with, over me with my stuff, and then he said, we're making a change. And then he described to me what this change is. The change would be that I would no longer be a value stream manager, that I was moving into a lateral position, which really did not feel lateral, and I would be reporting to somebody else before I was reporting to, to the ownership. And now I would be reporting to somebody else who was reporting to the ownership, so that definitely felt like a step down. I had all these things going on in my head about who I am and what I was doing, and the new position felt a little bit pushed together. I went from a half sales to a half IT um, position and it just didn't feel it didn't feel good and to be honest with you I've struggled since that point a lot with my self-esteem it's like because I had this idea of who I was I was this guy who worked his way up into this position and now I'm not that guy anymore now I am somebody who got a demotion and it was never really explained why other than the fact that one of the owners retired and they had to restructure the, the company and my job got shuffled in that um, Everybody says you did a great job, we don't see anything wrong, but ultimately I'm not in the same position anymore. I like the position and how do you deal with that? So going from that, that period of time to now, um, my self-esteem hasn't gotten back to that point to where I was before. Uh, I feel a little bit like I failed, I failed my family some, um, it was really hard. I was basically in tears when I came back and told my wife, hey, this thing has happened. And it didn't affect my finances. I mean, my finances are still basically the same as what they were. Uh, little adjustments here and there, but ultimately it didn't affect our lifestyle. But oh my gosh, did it affect my, my personal opinion of myself. So what I would like to be able to do is say, and now things are all better and I'm great in that. But that's not the truth. The truth is I still struggle with that. Um, part of the reason for starting a YouTube channel is because I feel like I failed at so many things that I want to try something else and try to restore my self-esteem. Which, by the way, YouTube as a way of restoring your self-esteem, not a great plan. Uh, it's, there's a lot of things that you have to deal with there that make you go, oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, I'm failing again at something. So it, it continues to be a struggle for me. One of my takeaways on this is that I need to find things to feel good about myself outside of my work, outside of my title, outside of my position. It's a dangerous place to be in, and, it, and that's on me, that's not on, you know, my bosses who are actually really good people. I, I do like my job. I mean, I, I like working there. Please, guys, if you're watching this, don't fire me. <laughs> um, but I need to figure out a way to, to get, 
to build up my self-esteem and my self-worth outside of work, outside of those things. You know, mentally I know that to be true, but internally I don't always feel that to be true. So that's the journey that I'm on. So I, I don't have a, a better wrap up than that, but what I would like from you guys, your homework this week, is I would like for you to, to talk to, to me down there in the blah, blah, below about what are the things that you are dealing with at work? What are your struggles? And how are you putting those things together? How are you dealing with them? How do you get through them? What makes you, what helps you get through your day? So yeah, I think that would cover what we want to talk about this week. If you could do me a favor, if you liked what you saw, give me that thumbs up. There's a bell down below. If you want to see more videos, please ring that bell and you'll get notified when videos are uploaded. And if you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe tab down there as well. We'll see you next week. We're going to talk about part two of this. I have a gentleman who's also dealt with some work things. I did an interview with him. He nearly lost his business, and we want to, I want to talk to him about how he dealt with that. So that will be part two of this. We'll see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel.